There is currently one item that is the driving factor for numerous champions being extremely powerful in meta, and that item is Trinity Force. In today's video, we'll be covering 20 champions you need to be building Trinity Force on to collect your free elo and solo queue. A tier list type format will be used here, where we rank champions based on their power with Trinity Force. First tier will be OP, consisting of champions who should be abusing the item in every single game. Second tier will be the situational tier, being champs that can run Trinity in select spots that we'll discuss. Last tier will consist of champs who are more sleeper or unknown Trinity users, where we think the item has a ton of potential, but is not being played very often in solo queue, so it's a bit more theory crafting than hard stats to back up the picks. And just before we get started, if you want to improve fast and get the rank you've always wanted, then go to skillcapped.com. Stop wasting your time grinding thousands of games only to see no progress. With Skillcapped, you'll uncover the secrets to climbing ranks fast that only take a few minutes to learn and can be immediately applied in your next game. The best part is it's completely risk-free to try, as you're kept safe with our rank up insurance. If you don't significantly improve while actively using Skillcapped, then you get your money back, no questions asked. So what are you waiting for? Get the rank you've always wanted by clicking the link in the description below. All right, now back to the video. So why has Trinity Force taken over so much in recent patches? There's a few factors at play. Back in 13.10, AD on Trinity was increased by five, the attack speed up by 5%, and its threefold strike passive duration increased from three to five seconds. Cost of the item remained the same, so you just got a whole bunch of added stats for free. For AD season specific, a few indirect factors have also led to the rise of Trinity Force, and it's due to crit mythic items being rather underwhelming. Gale Force was super insane on release, but now that it's been nerfed, Trinity priority has rose even higher. Other crit items in IE and Quick Blades are pretty mediocre on most champs, and as players have realized this, Trinity has taken over even more. Just from base stats alone, Trinity is 108% gold efficient, but when you consider its passives as well, that value is significantly higher. Infinity Edge, on the other hand, is only 95% efficient from base stats and doesn't even have a passive. Just based on math, we can easily see why so many champions have deviated towards Trinity. The fact Trinity Force provides stats like health and movement speed are massive as well, and something that all crit mythic items lack. That added durability and kiting power feels really nice, so you aren't just one shot in a single rotation by certain champs. In general, Trinity is just the perfect mythic item for many champions because it provides a little bit of everything. AD, haste, attack speed, health, and two passives that are both extremely powerful. The threefold strike passive not only grants movement speed, but it also increases your base AD. This provides great extended fight power. But wait, the Spellblade passive empowers your auto attacks to deal more burst damage, so you've got extended fight power and burst built into one item. Hopefully by now, we've convinced you as to why Trinity Force is so powerful, and with that said, let's dive into which champions you should be running it on. Starting with our OP Trinity Force users, these are champions you should be building Trinity on in every single game. Kindred is without question one of the best abusers of Trinity, as she benefits a ton from both the Threefold Strike and Spellblade passive. Q cooldown is so short that whenever the Spellblade passive is up, you're going to be able to proc it. The standard core you should be running on Kindred consists of a Trinity Rush into Wit's End 2nd and Black Cleaver 3rd. Kraken is viable as well in place of Wit's End in games where there's no value from the magic resist on Wit's. One of the best ADCs for 13.13 .13 is Ash, and it's all thanks to how powerful she is with Trinity Force. W cooldown with Ash is super short, so the constant Spellblade procs from Trinity are really nice. Being an ADC without a gap closer, the kiting strength and durability from Trinity also feel amazing for Ash. There's a few variations to the build you can run. Most players are rushing Trinity into Kraken 2nd and Hurricane 3rd. You really can't go wrong with this one. Static Shiv Rush is actually quite strong as well though in place of Kraken if you are hard snowballing and want to pressure leads a lot easier. Even after the Essence Reaver changes this patch, Trinity continues to heavily outperform on Ezreal and he's an OP champ with the item. Ez has been one of the longest standing Trinity users, so it's really no surprise that when the item becomes super strong, he's going to be one of its best users. Complete core build is a Trinity Rush into Man Immune 2nd and Cyrilda's Grudge 3rd. This champ is by far the most popular with Trinity Force right now, being Nar. Nar has always been an amazing Trinity Force user, and the item being so powerful is single-handedly keeping him in a viable spot for solo queue. The three-item core of Trinity Force, Black Cleaver, and Hullbreaker is a solid carry build to run in 13.13. .13. Another ADC who you need to be running the item on is Draven. Trinity heavily outperforms Essence Reaver right now, which is the inferior alternative option. Complete three-item core is Trinity Force into the Collector 2nd and Bloodthirster 3rd. Another champ whose solo queue power is being hard carried by the strength of Trinity Force is Viego. Divine Sunder is the alternative option, but it's winning a whole 3% less than Trinity. Core build you should be running is a Kraken Slayer Rush into Trinity Force 2nd and Black Cleaver 3rd. Such a perfect build for Viego with a great balance of offensive and defensive power. Moving on to the situational tier, these are champs who are very strong with Trinity Force, but don't want to run it in every single game. Camille is first up, and she's incredibly strong with the item in games where you're not playing to two or more tanks. Into a tank top and jungle, you definitely want to be siding with Divine Sunderer. Otherwise, Trinity is such a powerful option. Core build is a Trinity 
Force Rush into Ravenous Hydra second and Death's Dance third. Jax is another one of those top laners who performs insanely well with Trinity Force, but in select situations, it's not the best play. Divine is the alternative option for Jax, and very much like Camille, if you are playing into a tank top laner, it's going to be the better choice. Into squishy comps, Trinity is the play all day long, and a Spear of Shojin into Zanya's core works very well. Fiora fits into the same mold as Jax and Camille, to where it really depends on the enemy comp as to whether you prioritize Trinity over Divine Sunderer. Split push power of this build is incredible, as Trinity Force into Ravenous Hydra and Hullbreaker is the three item core. Darius builds are very interesting right now, because Stride and Trinity Force have identical win rates. It's all going to come down to how heavily you value Stride's passive for the game that you're in. If you're into a comp who lacks strong kiting power, then run Trinity Force. If not, Stride will help you stick onto targets a bit better. After rushing Trinity on Darius, Sterix, and Deadman's Plate round out the core build. Another jungle champion who's seeing great success with Trinity Force is Udyr. Two really strong playstyles for Udyr at the moment, as you can go more tanky with the Demonic into Jock Show build, or side with Trinity Force for more consistent DPS power. Core is exactly the same as what we just covered for Darius, being a Trinity Rush into Steric second and Deadman's Plate third. One mid lane champ who performs very well with the item is Corky. You've got the Poke build, or you've got the stronger, consistent DPS build from Trinity Force. Trinity is winning way more than Poke for solo queue, so it's definitely what we would recommend you play. If you can get Trinity and Mana Mune complete by around 20 minutes, the spike from this build is ludicrous on Corky. Yorick has a few interesting builds going around right now, as Trinity works great for an all out split push setup, but Duskblade is also seeing great success. Trinity is definitely the safest in most spots, and to round out the core, you've got Hullbreaker and Cyrilda's Grudge. Gangplank has two different builds he can run right now, one being the more offensive Essence Reaver into Quick Blades, and the other being a Trinity Force setup. Trinity into the Collector and Immortal Shield Bow is the safer GP build that provides way more durability while remaining a respectable damage threat. Our challenger top laner Strompist highlights this Trinity setup on Gangplank in one of his recent full game commentaries that can be found on our website. Next up, these set of champions are going to be in the sleeper tier, meaning we think they are quite strong with Trinity Force, but it's not being played all that often on them. Vayne is first up, and we just covered this build in our recent OP builds video for 13.13. Rageblade is by far the most popular mythic, but a static shiv into Trinity Force core is performing extremely well and is highly undervalued. Despite Stridebreaker and Jock Show being the more commonly bought mythics on Olaf, Trinity is outperforming both. Big reason for this is because Olaf has one of the highest base ADs for any champion in the game, and since both of Trinity's passives scale off base AD, the item synergizes very well. Ravenous into Trinity and Hullbreaker is a really sleeper split push setup you can look to run. Skarner has such a low play rate in solo queue right now, but he's actually not a terrible pick by any means. Trinity Rush is great on Skarner, and you can play a really nice bruiser build with Black Cleaver and Deadman's Plate rounding out the core. Top lane Trundle can actually be extremely oppressive in the side lane with this split build of Ravenous, Trinity, and Hullbreaker. The Spellblade procs combined with Trundle's Q absolutely melts towers, so if you're looking for an off-meta top laner to pick up, Trundle with this build can be really devastating. Full Tank has been the most common way to play Volley Bear jungle in recent patches, but Trinity has been his best performing mythic. You rush Trinity for strong dueling power and a really nice one item spike, and then transition into full tank with Dead Man's Plate and Force of Nature. There really isn't very much data to back this build up, but we think it has a lot of potential, being Trinity Force Belvet. It's a similar build to what you see on Kindred, with a Kraken Rush into Trinity 2nd and Black Cleaver 3rd. You're much more durable with this setup compared to Rage Blade, leaving more margin for error, while the Spellblade proc provides higher upfront burst power. So that is going to be all for this one, but if you want to improve fasting at the rank you've always wanted, then go to skillcap.com. With premium courses for every role and skill taught by the best players, Skillcapped is the perfect platform to help take your game to the next level. Take our wave control course. While you wait for your next game to start, you can learn freezing, fast pushing, slow pushing, bouncing waves, the list goes on, all in just a few minutes to maximize your improvement rate. Or maybe you just like seeing your opponent's health go to zero. Then you'll love our trading course. We even have a skill test at the end so you can see how good you really are. Players just like you are leaving five star reviews and raving at how helpful they are. That's not all we offer though, as every week we release 10 brand new smurf commentaries where a challenger player teaches you how to climb out of the exact rank you're stuck in. If you're looking for something more personal instead, then we got you covered with one-on-one -on -one coaching from our trained challenger experts. All this seems too good to be true? Well, don't worry, we're backed by a rank up guarantee. If you don't significantly improve while actively using skill cap, then you get your money back, no questions asked. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below and get the rank you've always wanted. Thanks so much for watching everyone, good luck in solo queue, and we'll see you in the next one.